Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to create a Power Automate Cloudflow that will create a folder in SharePoint. Uh, you can set this flow up to run on a schedule or you can have it be triggered by some event. For this example, we're just testing this out. So we're going to use a manual trigger. And we'll just call this test create SharePoint folder. We're going to be using the classic designer to set this up today. So now that we have our manual trigger, if you search for create folder, you'll see the first action is the SharePoint one, create new folder. So let's select that one. Now for site address, you'll have to choose your site address and your list or your library. We're going to choose a library and then your folder path. Now for the folder path, this is something you're going to create. So unless you're going to put the folder right inside of your library, literally on the library page, you will just type in here what you want the name of the folder to be. But if you want it to be further in, if you want the folder to be a folder or two folders in, so in other words, like a subfolder, then you'll need to type a little bit more. So I'm gonna show you an example of this. So I have SharePoint open here and I want my folder to be inside this folder here. So you can see here's my library and then here's a folder and then a subfolder of that. And I'm gonna create the folder in here. And I'm actually looking to create it with this kind of format right here that you can see this folder. So if I just copy this right here and I just paste this in here, the format is going to be forward slash. And I already have my library selected. So I only need the folder first folder. So it's going to look like this. Now I need to actually create the folder name. So I'm going to just call it week underscore of, and then I'm going to have this folder name be dynamic. If you don't have it dynamic, for example, if I just name the folder week of, and then this date here, today's date, then it's going to overwrite this folder here. I don't want it to do that. I want this folder to always be here for this case. What I'm going to do is put in a date and the date is going to be dynamic. So I already created this one earlier. So before I go any further, I'm actually going to rename this one and I'll just make it yesterday's date for this example. Now I'm going to put in a date. So I'm going to toggle to expression and I'm going to use the format date time and then UTC now, and I'm going to format this date so that it will be not like this, but rather underscore dates. So let's do month and then we'll do underscore day underscore and four digit year. So it's going to look like that. And don't forget our single quotes around the date. And we click OK. Let's go ahead and save that. Test it out. Hit continue and run flow. And the flow ran successfully. So we hop back over here. You might need to refresh. And there is our folder with today's date. So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, we will see you in that next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.